Hi, this is a mock-up of the new filtering interface we're developing for the recent changes page. Today I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples to demonstrate how an edit reviewer might use some of the new capabilities we're building. Uh, these examples focus on the ORES filters. Uh, those are contained in the first two groups here in the drop-down menu. The first example is a simple one of how you might use the ORES tools as a vandalism finder. I'm going to pick the broadest of the quality filters to find edits that may have problems. Okay, I see that I still have a lot of edits in my results, so I'm going to cut down my sample by filtering further for edits that may be bad faith. Now that's a, that's a perfectly reasonable setting, uh, but I still have a lot of results, so I'm going to take this a little further. I want to prioritize my work by focusing on the edits that are most likely to have problems. I could do this in two ways. The first would be to change my filtering. So instead of choosing those edits that may have problems, I'm going to filter for the edits that are very likely to have problems. Okay, that worked. But now I don't have many edits to work with. So the second way to prioritize my work is to use highlighting. I'll switch my filtering back to may have problems. Once again, I have a lot of results and don't know where to start. So I click on this highlight results button. That brings up the highlight menus. You can see them here. Now I can leave my filtering options as they were, but use colors to help make these results more meaningful. I'm going to make likely have problems yellow and very likely have problems orange. So now, as you can see, everything here is the intersection of may have problems and may be bad faith, but the most likely problem edits are colored. In incidentally, when I look in the margin here, these dots confirm for me what I might have guessed, that every edit that is very likely is also likely. Uh, in other words, very likely is a subset of likely, just as likely is a subset of may. Okay, I'm going to quickly show you one more example, this time, of how you can use these filters to help support good faith newcomers who might be struggling. I'll click the trash can to clear the settings. Then I'll restore the default filters. This time, instead of bad faith, I'm going to filter for good faith. I'll look for likely have problems, but I'll highlight very likely have problems, and I'll go down to the newly added newcomer filter and make that green. Now I can see that every green row is a good faith newcomer who is likely having problems. The green and yellow rows are where I'll start reaching out since those are the edits that are most likely in trouble. Okay, that's it for now. I hope this new interface looks like something you think will be helpful for your reviewing work.